Hey, what's up? Victor Salazar here. I just wanted to take this time to talk about the Blizzard Puck Q6 Unplugged Lights. These lights are awesome. Um, and this is my awesome t-shirt from Blizzard. <laughs> just wanted to show that off. Anyways, I, I wanted to talk about this light because I was using it with a controller and everything was going nuts. Um, all of a sudden, like the lights started flashing when they weren't supposed to if you hit the the green button on the controller it would it would strobe if you hit blue it would go to white if you hit red it would go to pink um you couldn't do the color chases i was using the controller uh the american dj oh gosh uh rgba four something it's that four channel um dmx controller anyways just a quick tip here um i will probably have to shoot it in the next clip but i will show you guys in a little bit give me one second all right, guys, this is part two to this video to the Blizzard Puck Q6 Unplugged. Anyways, the issue that I was having, again, the lights were flashing. They were going crazy. So this is what needed to happen. Um, see the, the channel mode? I had them. I had some of the lights on 4, and I had some of the lights on 7. So it's very important if you're going to use a four channel uh, controller to have all your lights on four channel. Or if you have a more than seven channel, you want to, like if you're using the software, go to seven. But in my case, it's four. Make sure that every single light is set to four channel mode, or else you're going to be going in through a world of of pain and wondering why your lights are not working, and then you start blaming. The controller that it's not working and that controller works just fine and, and it works with this light so again the puck q6 unplugged issue resolved I love these lights take care guys stay in the mix